back here at Tier Arena again. We were here yesterday for two qualifiers, but we only ended up making one. Uh, we had one midday, and then we had a little bit bad weather, so it was raining. There were some cleanups going on, so everything just took a long time, and we were gonna run the second run yesterday at 8 p.m. But the track was so cold, every team opted not to run. We are back at it today. We thought this would be a sunny day, but apparently it's instead windy and very cold. It has been raining today too, so we are very delayed. We should have run at like 10, 30, 11, around there somewhere. And it's about three o'clock now and we are not in the lanes yet. Um, we are warming up with hello coffee and <laughs> so on and waiting for us to head out. Uh, there's actually a new It's action on the track. So the track is dry now. The wind actually does help with getting the track dry. So if we could just get the sun to peek through a little bit too, and we could get some more heat in the track, it's even better. But the track temperature has actually gone up quite a bit since we looked last time. So I think it could be good. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the call to head out to the lanes and the uh, sun. finally got the call that it's getting close. I'm gonna get ready, get dressed, jump in the car and we head out to Wings. You got a good lie again. Just yeah. Get a yeah. Else yeah. And, uh, Don't you had your shirt on? Yeah, yeah, I do. He had all four layers on. He was still cold. Have <laughs> you ever seen him? Uh, we were uh, lucky. Uh, that's going to be now. Uh, yeah, I'm just glad we got that running. You know, we're, we're, we're still number one qualifier as well. No. Did you see all the rubber coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are the tracks too cold? Yes. Yeah. Hang on. Get them to go through. There's no way in, so you don't have to. We'll, we'll check the brake fluid as well. Yeah, Steve. we can just check that. Yeah, yeah. Because best, thing, best thing to do is probably hold the brake a little bit in the burnout. Yeah. yeah. And then that'll warm them up. Right, let's go. Or no one has to wait, is it? Since, yeah. since the turnaround is so short. So. Uh, what's going on? Well, we broke the rear hub for the, the wheels and it's an easy fix, but we don't have a spare. So right now we're waiting to see if we can get a hold of one um, so that we at least can make the run tomorrow. Uh, we have one more run today, it's in about an hour, but since we don't have any part yet and we haven't been able to start putting it together, uh, we will, yeah, miss that one. Um, but hopefully we can get one a little bit later tonight. Uh, we have one that we think is coming, but we aren't 100% sure yet if it's the right one, but hopefully it is. And if it is, we will be really happy. And fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed, yes. And we can, uh, can see what we can do tomorrow. We would have wanted this next run because uh, we are right now sitting number one qualifier, but that's not a given after this run because people can improve. So we would have wanted another chance to go a little bit quicker. But uh, 
fingers crossed we can fix it for tomorrow at least and we can give everyone a good race uh, on race day. delivery over rear end uh, so we had a, have a guy here that has a car and he was kind enough to take it here for us basically took it from the car drove it over here and now we have been able to put the car back together so I'm in incredibly thankful and happy that they were able to do this uh, in such short time so we can run tomorrow morning Men ja. Jag vet inte. Jag vet inte. Jag vet inte. So it's Sunday here, it's race day, it's 1 o'clock, we should have had our first round at 10 this morning but the weather has not wanted to cooperate at all, it's been raining, uh, it's still raining, it's basically just drizzling very lightly but still enough to not to be able to run on the track, uh, they haven't been able to start drying it with the jet dryer either uh, yet just since it just keeps coming down. But as soon as it stops they are going to, to dry the track and the plan is to just run the FIA and FIM classes today, so only the, the pro classes basically. Uh, the sportsman classes have unfortunately been called off for today. Uh, so we hope that we will be able to run the full full day here today as soon as they start uh, but I think that they're going to take a yeah stand at around two on how they're going to do because after that if they if they aren't close to starting they won't be able to finish in time so we will wait another hour and see what they say if it's uh, time to start the car up and get ready or if it's time to pack away but I really hope that we can then we can kick off this race day. We are in the number one qualifier position and uh, we have a solo in first run since we are five cars. Uh, and then in the second round we are going to be up against one of our teammates because we have two RF Motorsport cars together in the first run and we are up uh, with either Susanne Kalin or Antti Horto in the second one. So I really look forward to that. Uh, so hopefully we can make it there. personal trainer Hanna here with me this weekend. Uh, she owns a gym uh, where I live on Åland Island. It's called Vibe. So who have it? <laughs> so we've been doing like three to five times a week uh, for the last year, I would say. Yeah. Uh, like personal training sessions uh, where she has helped me build up like a really good, uh, how do you say, foundation for yeah. being, being able to do this. So basically during the off season we do it a lot. Yes. And then we try to like squeeze in when I'm away. But you also help me with having like a program program I can do while I travel. Yeah. So exactly. at the track, at the hotels and so on to kind of just stay fit. And for me this has been really good. I've I've been working out basically my whole life in different forms. So I did like gymnastics when I was younger and then I went to the gym. I I've never been a true gym girl that just loved to go there so being able to have someone to push me and help me and make sure i do everything correctly and build up strength for for the right reasons yeah 
because I don't have to be there to be, you know, super big and bulky and all. I need muscles that I can use. And I've been able to tell Hannah what I wanted for. So, for example, we've, you know, I have all the nitro jugs that are really heavy. Yeah, like 30 kilograms. Yeah, 30 yeah. kilograms each. And we've been doing the farmer's walk and we've been doing a lot of uh, upper body strength for that. Yes. But also a lot of lower body strength to kind of, you know, work out your bigger muscles and kind of keep the the whole whole concept going yeah. of that so for me it's been really good like improving my uh, my overall strength and health but also like the mental part of it because uh, I've had some things that I've had to work more on and I had uh, some things that you have noticed that if you do it like this like how you would maybe normally do it if you just see uh, an exercise on a paper uh, my body might be built up differently and we have to change some of it and all of a sudden I've seen changes that I wasn't able to do when I did it myself and yeah yeah exactly. it's, it's been really good yeah. <laughs> to handle the muscle car you also need muscles yes <laughs> exactly so, <laughs> so that that's been good and also like the g-forces on the body is one thing and everybody talks a lot about that with like the the g-forces and how that takes a toll on your body but it's also everything around like fueling up the cars lifting the nitro jugs a lot of uh, you know, turning like this, twisting yeah. and doing stuff that takes a lot on your back muscles, uh, but also the fact that it's like ongoing non-stop all the time for, for several weeks at a time. And if you're not physically in a good shape, uh, usually you don't handle the recovery as well. That's basically what, what I found out, uh, that now I feel better after an event than I did before. I, I could handle it before, but I always felt dead the days <laughs> after. <laughs> and now I'm able to get back to the gym and we can do stuff together. Yeah, and we've also been talking a lot about uh, eating the right things and yeah. sleeping enough, yeah. stuff like that too. And working a lot on kind of the mental thing of it. I mean, um, you're also a business owner and we are both kind of stressful lives yeah. <laughs> with a lot to do and but our gym sessions have also been kind of a mental health sessions so <laughs> I think this has helped a lot uh, on my race program actually this year so I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> the reaction time is really important when it comes to to the race do you see any benefit of working out and doing that kind of thing uh, with your reaction time yeah I actually do I feel the more f like physically fit I try and stay and the better I eat, I sleep, I, I kind of keep that overall health going and stay active. I, I feel that my reaction times are just getting better and better. We have tried to incorporate some exercises that are, uh, that help my reaction time too. So we both do that in the gym and then I try to do um, the reaction time training at home. And I see a big improvement this year on my reaction times than I did last year. And I think this is a really big part of it actually. Yeah, for that one, yeah. Just about to warm up, they're gonna start and then we're off to them. Uh, so they said that we should run in about an hour and a half. So we're getting the cart ready and just waiting for the track to dry. Hasn't rained now in a little bit, so I hope it stays like that. They're drying the track, so they have the jet dryer going down and usually what takes long is, it is, is the shutdown area. Because it's longer than the actual actual running area, basically. So um, that's it. That's what they're doing now, and uh, they thought they would be ready in like an hour and a half. Uh, so, yeah, we're just getting ready and hoping that the time frame will fit, and then we we'll go down for first run. And I think they can run until eight tonight, and I think it's about three or something to, right now. Yeah, it's three right now. So there is, there is a potential to <laughs> finish this race today, and uh, I look forward to it. So that's what we're going to do now.
up, we're fueled up, we are ready. I can see bikes in the lane, so Super Street Bike, I think they're gonna start us off and then it's Pro Mod and then us. So we're just waiting for the call, I'm gonna head in, get dressed, get ready, and uh, it looks like it's gonna be soup. <laughs> We're still delayed, but the sun is out. Blue sky, sun is out. They just called promo down to the lanes. Last time we saw Super Street back in the lanes, they got called back, track was not ready. Uh, but now we have pro mods and it's just gonna be pro mod, Super Street bike, then us. So last prediction was 40 minutes and we're all suited up and ready. Uh, everybody is just eager to get going uh, and the sun I have to say it amps up your energy. Since we've been on a delay for quite some time now, I've put up uh, a question on my Instagram that you could send in your questions and some of them uh, in the YouTube video. So how did you get into racing? Well, I've been at the track since I was a little kid, uh, basically three weeks old, first time at the drag strip. My mom and dad has been around racing uh, all their life, basically, or all my life at least. My dad raced uh, since before I was born and my mom has always been around it. Uh, so basically I grew up in it. Uh, when I was eight years old, my dad asked if I wanted to race junior dragster. That was the lowest age you could do it at that time. And that's basically how it started. That's how I got into it. What's your favorite race venue of the season? Well. The one that isn't raining on. <laughs> so right now, not a lot of them. Uh, no, but in all honesty, I, I like it here at Tierp and I like it because it's, it's very close to where I live. So basically we have a lot of friends and you know, people that been involved with racing that we have been around for many years that always come here. So it's a very familiar family feeling going here and to see on the grandstand that we have, you know, the all on island flags and people from at home cheering us on. Uh, it always gives you like an extra kick. So um, I do like it here. But there's some other cool tracks, of course, uh, on the venue. I wouldn't want to take anyone off off the venue uh, or off the schedule, any venue off the schedule, but I do like it. Good time. <laughs> We just run first run. We had a solo, had a little bit of a conservative setup, but we went down track uh, quite yeah. safe and easy. <laughs> so we throw the bell just before the finish line. Uh, it wanted to kind of upset the car a little bit down track, but to be honest, this is the best track we have had all weekend. Uh, the weather definitely came around, the sun came out. Ante Horto uh, was the winner of the round before us, and he ran at 386. So the track isn't it isn't bad now and we have Ante next run so it's going to be a fight for sure and I can't, I can't wait to do that. Uh, I have run Ante several times before, he's a good lever and he's a really good driver so this is going to be a really tough race uh, and I look forward to that. 
I had a good light, he had a good light, uh, looking at uh, the numbers from down track. We're quite similar in the beginning. Uh, then he pulled away. So we'll see if we can tune it up a little bit on this one. Uh, since we had a solo in, on the last pass, we weren't all too, we didn't have to push it that hard. Uh, but yeah, still a really good run for us to actually make it down track and uh, get the race day going. And the weather is still looking fabulous. So let's go for another one. So we had a really quick turnaround. Uh, since we are very delayed, we started racing quite late. Uh, they have rushed to get the car done. Uh, we're just now finished, so they're putting the last pieces back on the car, um, and we should pull out any minute now. So they're just waiting for us in the lineup, and yeah, we're gonna have to do it quickly. Uh, we have Anti Orto, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. At least we can learn. Uh, oh, Papa. If I could meet me, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it for this weekend i would have really hoped to keep our strike going uh, this is actually the first time this year that we go out um this early so to say so yeah that was uh, that was a shame but we do keep the points lead uh, we had we had a points lead going into it we collected some valuable points for going into semi-finals and also having the number one qualifier uh, so yeah we take that with us on to the next one which is hockenheim ring in about two weeks so we go home, we pack our bags and then hit the road to head over to Hockenheim in Germany. So that's the next one and this is it for this weekend.